So in five years, okay, in five years you'll be your your team will grow from five hundred to eighteen to twenty thousand. We have white sandy beaches that that are that Florida extends into Alabama. White sandy powder beaches for about 40 miles past the state line into Alabama. So it's it's white sandy beaches, palm trees, and million dollar condos. I mean, it's 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 complete paradise, and nobody really you know nobody thinks beaches in Alabama, right? So so that's where I'm at. I grew up here, and like it's a really small town, especially in the winter time when the tourists are gone. It's it seems really small, and um, you know, people, you know, there's not a whole lot of opportunities here unless you are like a real estate agent or a restaurant owner or a builder. It's not, it's, there's not a whole lot of, there's not like Wall Street isn't here. There isn't, there's not like the same opportunities as a big city. So um, I feel very fortunate because I got into real estate. Um, I'm glad I failed the history class because I didn't know what I was going to study. When I got into real estate, I didn't even know if I wanted to do that, but I'm, I'm really glad, of course, at the end of the day that I did. In this world of you know just real estate sales, okay, um, and then you and then you add this component of you know the the building the teams and even if you build other businesses, you know stocks investing, you know the the, the whole nine yards all comes down to uh, compounding and accumulation, right? So so like for example, you know I can tell you exactly where you're going to be three to five years from now based on what you do day to day right now. I don't know. Can we do that? Can well, here's the thing. I don't know where someone's going to be this year. Like, if you tell me what you're doing, I, I don't know where that's going to get you in the next 12 months. But I know for a fact, I can tell you exactly where you're going to be five years from now. Like, like the long term is so easy to predict. So in five years, okay, in five years, you'll be your your team will grow from 500 to 18 to 20,000. Okay. Okay. Um, you're still going to do 30 to 40 deals a year because you don't really care about that. Yeah. I think you'll still have that team in place and not really be that active with it. And, um, you know, through the, through the course of growing from 500 to 18 to 20,000, that's going to, that's going to create a situation where your boot camp business explodes as well. So who, who wants to be go, go right now in five years? This is a game of accumulation. Okay. So what I mean is, is like when you meet people and you put them in your database, they never need to forget who you are ever. Okay. So when you meet them and you're, and you're uh, like, I've just met you and I'm like, wow, this is a very bubbly, not great personality, hard worker has her stuff together. That's the impression you're making to these people and they love it. Okay. Now, now if you don't take that great moment and great first impression that you just made on them and then continue that relationship and continue touching them in a way where they never forget about you, they're going to eventually kind of start to forget about you. Yeah. And, and they could drift away from you. Now, what you have to do, listen, this is the way I do it, guys. My goal is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry, okay? That's why I coach for free. I don't have a boot camp that people pay for. I don't have a course that you're going to buy. Um, I'm trying to influence the entire industry, not just people that are willing to pay me for something. I want to touch everybody and reduce the failure rate in the industry. And the only way that I can do that is by just sharing what has worked for me. Not to say that I'm the god of this stuff or that this is the only way to do it. I can just share with you my thoughts and hopefully you pick something up. When I look at follow up and building personal brand and staying in touch with our clients, I've went through all the different avenues and I found the simplest way to do it. Okay. A weekly email to my entire database. You should be bringing more agents on, right? Right? No, no, no. Honestly, honestly, it's like, it's like agents ask me, how do I get this listing sold? And I'm like, go get more listings. It's going to like, you, you really don't have any control at that point. Okay. Because Beth, you, you can't make the calls for them. Right? You know, oh, this is what I do. I sleep really well at night. Why? Because I know that I did everything I could do to help my agents, to help my clients. But at the end of the day, I can't sit around and worry. I have zero expectations, Beth. 
zero expectations. I'm not trying to get them to be an FLQA. I'm not trying to get them to make a hundred thousand or a million dollars. That's not my goal. My goal is, is to lead them right down to the river, right? And then at that point, I've done my job. It's up to them at that point if they're gonna drink. I can't dunk their head in the water too. You know, they, they have to be the one that uh, that puts forth the effort. And, and here's, here's the, the reality of it. Some people are going to and some people aren't. And I quit trying to figure out who is who. Like, um, like, I, like agents used to come into the business and I would, I would judge them immediately and I would say, oh, they're gonna be a winner, they're gonna be a great salesperson, or they're, I don't think they're gonna sell anything, you know? And, 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 you know, this is long before I've started bringing agents on or coaching, just agents that come into the office. And I would, I would say, you know, they're going to be a winner or they're not or whatever. And I was proved wrong so many times. Like there was a guy that looked like uh, the dad on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids one time. And I was like, this guy is just not, it's not going to happen. He came in and got 30 listings in the first month. Like the name of the game is volume, pipeline, relationships, help people, and then let whatever happens gonna happen. You can't worry about the results. That's why I always talk about you can't control the results. You can only control what you do day to day. And and if you if you focus on just one thing, if you focus on just I'm gonna create five new friends of property owners every day in my market for the next four years and I don't care about anything else and that's all you focus on, you'll wake up in four years and you'll be the top or one of the top agents in your market off of something very simple. But you focused and and you accumulated, right? You didn't worry about the results. It's like too many people worry about how many appointments they set or how many listings they got or how many closings they're gonna have. You're not gonna care in 2024 what you made in 2021. You're only gonna care about what you made in 2024. But what you make in 2024 is gonna be predicated on what you did this year to build your database and your influence and your brand. So why are we even focused on deals this year? You know, let's say your goal is 500,000 a year, okay? That's your goal for, for your real estate commissions. A lot of agents come into the business and they work really hard, they, they, they beat the bushes, and they get their income up to, let's so say 150,000 a year. Then they just kind of like quit doing what got them there and just kind of rely on their, their database. Let me tell you guys something right now. Your database is only gonna maintain your business. Once you get, your, you, once you get to the point where you quit trying to build your sphere, your your business your 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 income's gonna plateau. Okay, so if you want if you're at 150 right now and you want to get to 500, maybe it takes you two more years to get there. Maybe you get there next year. Maybe maybe four years. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but you got to continue building your database and your influence and your brand up to the point where you produce that. Then you can live off your brand and continue to produce that 500,000 every year. That's why in 2017 I quit building my business and I just relied on my sphere. Okay, and I knocked down, I continue to knock down 100 deals every year, and my big, the biggest thing was a million dollars. Listen, this is, this is the part that people get a little sideways on. They see me, and they're like, oh, you're, it must be nice, you're selling 100 properties a year, you got all these business going on. They don't wanna talk about the 15 years, 100,000 calls I made. They don't wanna talk about the 15 hours a day for 15 years. They don't wanna talk about all that. They just wanna say, what are you doing now? And how can I do this now? And they don't realize that even after I realize this business is about people, not money, that was in 2008 when I got back in the business. It still took me six years, even after I realized this, six years of grinding before I got to 100 deals a year. Let me just say this before I go into a script, that my thing is not necessarily cold calling, okay? Just so you know, my thing is communicating, okay? My thing is showing a client, whether you got them on Zillow, Facebook, you know, you found them, you got an open house, you did a direct mail. When you do finally have that conversation that has to be had before a deal can even move forward, right, to see if it's even a good fit, my thing is communicating correctly with them once that conversation does happen. Now, it just so happens that I believe that since that conversation does have to happen, for me, I'm just like, I'm not gonna wait around for people to call me, I'm just gonna go call them. That's just my mentality. I'm just gonna go make it happen like one of those kind of people. Not everybody's like that. But when I'm calling these people, you know, what's worked best for me is, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, Ricky Crew, the XP Realty, how you doing? Cool, me too, enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous? Good, well listen, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but a house right around the corner from you just sold. 
Didn't know if you knew that or not, but just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Your number one skill needs to be making people feel comfortable with you. If you can't make someone feel comfortable with you, I don't care how great you are on social media or how many organic leads you get or how many Zillow leads you buy or how many calls you make or how many open houses you do. If you can't make someone feel comfortable with you, they're not gonna do business with you. That's the first step in the process. It's not even about getting listing appointments or listings or sales or closings or showings. None of that's gonna happen if nobody feels comfortable with you. So you gotta work on you and your communication. That's what Zero to Diamond's all about.